felt so happy. Hey everybody, welcome to the last part of Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. In this part, we're going to downtown Bikini Bottom. It's like a level in the game. And it's starting to get rumbling. Downtown Bikini Bottom. Once a bustling metropolis. Now a debris covered crater. SpongeBob, the robots are destroying downtown Bikini Bottom. We have to evacuate! All right, but it's gonna take a while to get all this dust. Not vacuum, evacuate. We have to get everyone to safety. Can we just load them up in the boats? That won't do any good. Why not? Because the robots have taken all the steering wheels. Couldn't we just drive in a straight line? No, there are too many turns. Those fiends, they thought of everything. Never fear, Mrs. Pop, I'll get those steering wheels back. SpongeBob, if you're involved, I always fear. But I tell you what, if you can pull this off, I'll give you a golden spatula. How about a driver's license instead? Nice try. Ah, uh, see's here. We have to collect all the flying magical st steering wheels, which makes no sense when they're flying. And then you have the new part up here, the sponge ball. If you touch it, you turn into a ball. Roll really quickly, but you can't really do anything else. If you get hurt or press any buttons, you'll turn back to normal, so. There you go. Uh, this place is very interesting. I like this place. This is one of my favorite levels. Can we skip this? Can we just jump up here? Nah. Uh, this is also one of the. Nah. Nah, I'll explain everything later. You can go left or right. Uh, these guys, for some reason, don't get an introduction. They literally just don't. They just go, oh, look, new enemies! Enjoy them. There's really nothing else. You can go this way first. You can't, as you can see here, you have to go break down this wall with those thunder tikis. That's how you can get around here. I never realized that when I was a kid that those thunder tikis actually brought down the walls. I guess I never really paid much attention or, to it. Or what? Anyways, kill this guy and take the first sock. Now, here we have a bunch of statues. A bunch of buttons. Sadly, you can't get up there. Uh, we have a random cannon placed in the distance as the camera zooms over. As you just at, 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 at us, everything but everything except not the kitchen sink. So you gotta press all these buttons. Try to word that. Stand about rightfully about uh, here behind all of them. A little bit farther back. No, sorry, a little bit closer. No, never mind. Never mind. All right. Let's go to this one. You can actually skip some of these. Like, just jumping off the rock. It's basically go quicker. You don't have to just wait for the candle. Perfectly line up your shot. So I'm not recommending you just touch this and then leave. I also can do the same thing here. Nope. Better miss it. Okay. Not to worry about. I was gonna skip the. Go ahead and skip that one too, but it's like I need to do it. And giant anvils! Giant anvils indeed. When in doubt, drop a rhino anvil from the sky. So now I just got a wonderful picture of a 3D anvil. anvil. 15 ton weights are better. 50. So now I can just climb the statue. I can kind of like break the platforming there and kind of switch through his head, but it's not creepy at all. First badge on the first area, in the second area. Sit over there in the scenic, you can see the pin needle, and a bunch of flying Texases. We'll get into what the heck those are for later on. So to go back to the left, you can go left right away, you can skip that area, you can go back to it obviously, but it's good to get the thing out of the way right away. Press the button, opens the gate, and you gotta roll right through. If you just walked, it wouldn't work. Introduction to our next enemy. What's with all the anvils? Good job, Gary. So, bubble bounce from, from above, as Gary liked to show us. Nice pun. Nice pun. I'll, I'll let him get that one. Now, you can see there's a sock up there. You can try to jump all the way you want with SpongeBob, go all the way, but there's a way easier way to get that. You can try to, like, 
jump up there, you can kind of go around and break down that wall over there and jump over there. There's a way easier way of doing it, so save your time. I can do that, or you can be completely oblivious and go up here. This random trampoline. Jump on here. Jump here. Go across. You think? Oh, I can get over there. You can by going up this way. Jump up the top of here. Be an idiot and not <laughs> complete that jump at all. Uh, let's retry that. If these, if you actually destroy those things, you can die and they respawn. So don't worry. That's two out of eleven. So let's go back and hit this button again and actually try to make it across. So just roll. If you hit that, um, any of that liquid, that hot sauce, it will hurt you. As soon as you get across, then you don't have to worry about it, anything anymore. Because, well, it stays down. You don't have to press the button again. See here, that brings down that wall. It just gives you a shortcut there. The sensor's here. It's a nice little token there. Can go back here and grab this shiny. Not really a lot, so not completely worth it, but you just go, eh, I wanna get it. Go ahead and get it. There's one dude standing here for no good reason. Actually no, he's guarding this. Thank you. Thank you for saying it again. You don't you're kinda of like loading in our face right now. And now we have the other one here and we can go back that way. Then grab that one shiny. Oh well. Shiny thing. And this thing's now shooting sofas and other stuff at it. If you're observant, go up here. Jump up here. And you can see there's a sack over there. Now again, this is another one that you cannot get with SpongeBob, so don't even worry about it. See if you really want to, you can try, but it's very hard. It won't be successful. So if I go like this, and yeah, you can't get it. So, you can always try, but no, that's not how you do it. It's the exact same reason why the other one won't really work. So, uh, button, button, to get rid of the to button. Ah, I got hit by the couch. Or the love sofa. There's a love seat. Love seat. Love seat. If we're not, right now, you can't get rid of that, so um, just ignore it. So, put this button, and a ramp will appear! And a boat. Push, 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 push. Which makes little sense. You can roll up there, get the thing, or you can slowly walk, observe it. You can see here, you've got a bunch of toke uh, shinies in the pit. So, let's go click them here. Even though it's not really worth a lot, it just feels like a completionist aspect. And there's a random light post here that clips to the ground. I mean, how is this made? Was there an explosion? If there was an explosion, the light thing would clip to the ground. Would say above the ground. However, if it was just like a big digging thing, maybe then it would clip to the ground and I believe this just jumped in and I. Oh, yeah, I did. Nope, I made it. Skills. And we got more sofas and love seats. I'll touch one here and let's just show off the screen. It's reaction. Now you can get back from over the other side. Because we can't set it off. Mergo combo! Got another one of these guys, and another one of these things. They're UFO spinny things. Undone fly spinning objects. Okay, this just a little nonsense a little bit over here. Okay, that dude wants to be mean. And this closes that. Oh yeah, because things are flying out there. I wasn't paying much attention to that, was I? Talk to Bubble Buddy. This door is locked from the inside. Such a thing. Who would do such a thing? So you can go up here, and now if you step on these, they go down. So make sure you kind of off shut the balance. You can also go somehow, there's just something there. Ice. Don't ask me why they're ice, but they are. Ted Strange, you said no. Now I can go this way, kill him, and combo it. But it will be kind of pointless because there's that machine over there, the surround 3000. By the thing open the gate, if you do not have enough money, we'll just farm. You can farm that area right here. It should be at least close to it if you don't have it exactly. Uh, there's a steering wheel up there. And that, you can't, you 
if you really want to, you probably could glitch or something of some sort. Yeah, probably can't, but... Anyways, just be patient. Be patient. We'll get to the thing where we need to get the, all these things sooner or later. Just hang on tight. So grab the ball. That was a horrible pun. And go up the ramp and through the goal. Goal! Goal! And we failed this jump, so we can work for now. It's okay, Gary. Hi, Gary. Thanks for noticing. I have been working out. Meow. Not done. Doesn't that mean meow? Oh, that's the entrance to the rooftops, which leads to the lighthouse? Aha! Uh -huh. There's another golden spatula. I could really use that. Meow. How does he do that? What do you mean get Sandy to help me? I can get through this. Meow. Meow. Oh, that gap looks big. Okay, I'm definitely not making that jump. How is anyone going to get across there? Uh-oh, more robots. Holy Dutchman's ghost! That gap looks impossible! And impassable! Okay, okay, I'll go get Sandy to help me out. So that's what we need here. We need Sandy! Sandy Chicks! The squirrel. And that introduction was better left if I actually went ahead and went right over to go get Sandy Chicks, but sadly I like to blow things up. And then everyone does it. Anyways, send this, send the chickens. Really have no other example of why Sandy suddenly appears here. Or why her shadow's head floating in the air. Yeah, but she's here! Again, there's really no reason why, and that always kind of bothered me. She just, poof, here! Why? No real example, just poof! Why is Andy here help? Jump to the top of the- A, she can press A to glide, so she's a glider, she's a flying squirrel. But first... And also you can then jump over here, and grab this. And also explode this thing and have him go kaboomy. And it also gets you out, because obviously you can't normally walk in here. For some reason, while the robot get in here, I don't know. Thank goodness there's a giant explosion on the side of the wall there, or we would also be screwed. Can we just jump and do this way? Nope. Close though. You can talk to Gary, but Sandy says goes, Hi Gary! So, it's not really a conversation worth having. So back to back to extra her real thing. I press A and A and she glides! Like a squirrel. Like a flying squirrel. They don't... The flying squirrels just glide. Jump over here, grab a hundred shinies. Fifty. 50 shinies. So basically, Sandy here, as we'll get into our jumping mechanics, basically breaks any sort of. She actually will break the game at certain points with her long jump reaching length. Is it just how it will work? It's weird, but it, it's just how it will work. I mean, if you try to hide anything, you can just jump with her. You can just air, it's so B and A, B, do different things. Maybe it's a little bit easier, I don't know. Basically, there's no text and she teleports. So, basically, press X and she lassos these things. Um, there are, this is also a one hit kill move. You can't, so no robot will survive it, so it's fair. Oh, sorry. Uh, swing hook, press X. This gives you a, this gives you a pretty good range in those, and later on in the game, when they're supposed to make you really tough jumps, the really, really nice range in them is tad pointless because you can just go in, like, relatively close to anything. And let's walk all the way back up there. As I was saying, press X and use <laughs> and death. Just that just instantly kills every robot, which is really nice. I mean, you want to stand the best characters, however, it takes a while to get that shot off, that attack off. And if you don't get that attack off, well then you get hit and then it's pointless. You're just barely just pressing normal X. So, anyways, swing across here and we'll make it across. However, if you do have a good memory. See, number A, the candle over there that gave me so much trouble is right there. Number two, that sock is over here. So let's go. And I'm gonna swing. And start jump across. And you can make that easily. This is really, that shows how far you can jump. That's easily. And jump over here. And you get a steering wheel. 
Yep, another one, and then you just get rid of this thing like old fashioned, just fall to pieces. Now, if you have better memory, you remember there's one spot I said before that you couldn't get the batch the socks, so don't try. We'll quickly pop over there before we continue into the rooftops. Instead, you need that platform, so kill yourself if you don't have it. So, suicide by pot sauce. What a way to go. I'm going to walk back here. Pretty dang far. No, no, actually. It's hardly anywhere, so that's nice. So, make sure you don't hit that thing, though, because if you do, you're going to set this horn turn thing off. And then you won't be able to jump up here and jump for your sock. Ten socks! Uh, now, quickly, I'll head back to the football wall. Okay. So you can, you can also have these little checkpoints here. You can jump on this trampoline here. You can jump back on the rooftop. It's a nice little shortcut. A little bit long, long ones along the way. Long ones around the way. Can't talk. Nice little thing here, jigs here and there. So I'm gonna meet you back. Now to show you the range of this thing. I'm down here. This thing's up here. If I jump, I can press X, and I get up there. So literally, you don't have to walk around and jump up there. You can just jump from here. I mean, that's just that's they get they're a little too leeway on the range, in my opinion. I'll probably miss a couple of jumps in the game, and that's just be my hor my horrible fault. But there is not a lot a lot of ways to get in this. I mean, that as gives you it's a pretty dang nice range. It's pretty dang generous. So that's it. exits, which into the rooftops we go. Hey Larry, what's shaking? Sandy! Boy, am I glad to see you. I need your help. My TV reception has been terrible lately. I need to have someone replace my old antenna with this shiny new one. Yes, sir. That fair antenna is shinier than a $3 bill. Well, why don't you replace it yourself? I'm not First really problems. much of a jumper. So, what's jumping got to do with it? Because the old antenna is up there. <laughs> Woo! That's taller than a glass of Texas iced tea. The robots have blocked off that building, and I can't do all those fancy moves you and SpongeBob do to get across these gaps. All I can do is flex! Wanna see? Yeah, great. Uh, so what are you gonna do with the old antenna? Oh, that? It's yours if you replace it with a new one. Well, I have been getting bad TV reception in the tree doll. Okay, Larry, you got a deal. So, if you can improve your bad reception, you're gonna get something that also gives bad reception. Uh, I really don't get how that works, but okay. Cutscene. Three points! These things are annoying. As you can see, they will attack you and attack you like all enemies do. However, they have really long range. The splash damage on those things are really annoying. They only take one hit to die, though, so don't worry much about them. I'm living. So if you can get to them, then they're dead. But however, uh, you can't get to them, like, they'll back up and get out of your range. Well, then you start up a problem, and then sometimes you get just knocked off the rooftop periodically. By random nonsense, they get thrown in your direction. What are you going to do? Oh, splatter range. And then the dude comes back, and hello, and now you're dead again. Hooray, you're dead again. What's up? Is he here? Is he here? That dude only, di only died from the one lasso. He normally takes two hits. So you can see here, the lasso does way more. So anyway, just grab up here. Blah, 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 blah. What are you gonna blah, 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 blah. The moving platforms. How lovely. You got the moving Patron, the moving jig. And then you lasso again. I mean, again, the range of that is completely, completely too nice for you. But what are you gonna do about it? And I fall to whiff again! Huzzah. I mean, knockback is just... Unlimited, unlimited square objects. Knockback. Ah, it's just a, it's a love life maiden. 
match made up. So you can go up here. You can get. <laughs> Bang, I just got up with me. And you kinda, yeah, that guy's probably gonna get you. If you try to lasso, you probably take him out first. And I didn't think of doing that, so. What a shame. Anyways, you have this shiny object, and we get a new path here. Pressing this button. Uh, this is not a shortcut, as you might think, like a corner trying to shortcut through the level. It's not. It actually is just an alternate path to a different place. So, don't worry about not you skipping part of the level. That's when I ever saw this. I'm like, oh no, I'm gonna skip part of the level. Don't worry. So, press this button and get on with it. And voila! They all appear, and you have a fun joyride ahead of you. All the way to this area. Grand Golden Spatula. It really made no sense, but another time limit. So, have fun pressing A then X. A then X. And this was X. How about X? How about some use of an X? How about we chuck down a cherry tree with an X? How about we ask another question? I might be asked to say something different. And I might have to jump all the way to the end here and grab a golden special. See the time six down, but it doesn't really matter, because well you got it. That's a reward. 